Yo, what is up guys, Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV, hopefully you guys are doing well, if you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, some interesting news I guess, coming out of the boxing world, PBC and their first card on Amazon will go down on the 30th of March in Las Vegas. According to the initial reports, this card will be on pay-per-view. Uh, let me know below if you think it is pay-per-view worthy. Me personally, I would say no, but I don't really care. We live in the age of streaming now. It is what it is. But the card is headlined by Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman. Now, this fight actually goes down at £155. So, Tim Zhu's uh, WBO £154 title is not going to be on the line. Don't really understand that, personally. I don't really understand that. What's the reason? Keith Furman's last fight was at welterweight. I know it was a little while ago now, but his last bout was at welterweight. Whereas, Tim Zhu, when did he last fight? October? At 154. You would imagine both of these guys can make 154 right now comfortably. You would hope so, at least. But maybe not, and quite frankly... I mean, the last time Keith Furman fought was February of 2022. That was at welterweight. Maybe he's put on the pounds, hasn't been training. Maybe making the weight could be challenging for Keith Furman. Maybe that's why this fight has that, uh, that catch weight. Who knows? But regardless, that's disappointing in and of itself. The fight itself, I mean, if Keith Furman could roll back the clock roll back the years, and we get a good Keith Furman, it's a decent fight. But I just can't count on that happening. I can't count on that happening. Keith Furman in recent years has been horrendously inactive. He last fought in February of 2022 against Mario Barrios. Before that, he fought in July of 2019 against Manny Pacquiao. So in the last five years, he's had two fights. So he's hardly been productive as a fighter in the last few years, but that's not really my main concern. It isn't even that he's been super inactive. I, I just believe Keith Furman is the type of guy to not really train that hard, if at all, when he doesn't have a fight coming up. He strikes me as that sort of guy, and quite frankly, for a number of years, he seems like it seemed like he's had one foot out of the door uh, in regards to boxing. So yeah, I think this is the sort of fight that may fool people on paper. But we have to remind ourselves, this isn't 2015, 2016 anymore. This is a semi-retired Keith Furman. Uh, Keith Furman who's been inactive. And he's fighting a young, hungry, strong fighter. And a good fighter at that as well in Tim Zhu. A guy who has been active a guy who does stay in the gym, and a guy who is clearly getting better. Uh, this fight favours Tim Zhu in every possible way, in my opinion, aside from experience, obviously. But I expect Keith Furman to get beat in this fight and get beat resoundingly, uh, to be honest. I don't believe this fight is all of that competitive, personally. I don't believe um, Keith Furman will give Tim Zhu any real trouble. He may give him some like awkward moments due to the movement. But in terms of like winning rounds or being a true threat in this fight, I don't really see Keith Furman doing much. I think he can survive for a little while with his, with his legs, with his movement. But he'll get chopped down, in my opinion. I feel like this is a fight where it's going to fool people because of the names involved. But I don't think it's a great fight, I have to admit. I don't think it's a great fight. I believe Tim Zhu wins this fight, wins it comfortably, and more than likely becomes the first man to stop Keith Furman. On the undercards of this pay-per-view, Roly Romero is defending his WBA super lightweight title against Isaac Cruz. Should be a fun fight. I believe Isaac Cruz beats Roly Romero. I believe Roly Romero is a bang average belt holder, and that is being very generous. Isaac Cruz should beat him. 
Erez Landy Lara versus Michael Zarafa on the undercard also. Lara is the WBA middleweight champion. Lara's 40, so it could be a competitive fight at this stage. If Lara has anything left, he will soundly outbox Zarafa. But again, given Lara's age, who knows, it could be competitive. Zarafa is a good pro, but he's not true world level, but he, he's a hard worker, got a bit of power, he'll be aggressive, he'll give it a go. Maybe that's enough now to give Lara trouble, I don't know. But if it's Lara anywhere near his best, he will soundly outbox Zarafa. And also we have Sebastian Fundora versus Sergei Boachuk. Now you guys know who Sebastian Fundora is, former WBC interim champion at super welterweight, tall guy, he's, he's like six foot six, which is crazy for a super welterweight. And Sergei Boachuk is a Ukrainian fighter at 154, was a bit of a prospect a few years ago, came unstuck against Brian Adams, I want to say, or Brandon Adams, sorry. Um, he got stopped in that fight, and he's been on the comeback trail ever since. Bowerchuk is a hard puncher, very aggressive guy, and I think he'll match up for a good style clash against Sebastian Fundora, who despite being 6'6", 6'7", for a super welterweight, rarely uses his range and distance. Uh, he he's uh he likes to fight up close actually Fundora and that plays it you know that's gonna make for a great fight against Boachuk you know Fundora himself is coming off a knockout loss so given where both guys are at I think this fight actually makes sense and I actually think it's a good fight so yeah I mean this card it's got names on it are they involved in the most intriguing matchups in my opinion no personally um. There's a little bit of morbid curiosity in regards to Roly Romero versus Isaac Cruz. Furman versus Tim Zhu just doesn't do it for me, personally. Now, I hope I'm wrong in regards to that fight. I hope Keith Furman comes in there, has a good camp, and actually shows us something. I hope he's got something left. Because if he actually can roll back the clock, like I said, I think, I think then it's a decent fight. But I just, like I said... I just, I, I just can't count on that with Keith Furman, to be honest. But it is what it is. Um, share your thoughts below. What do you make of this potential card? Well, it seems to be going down. What do you make of it? Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.